Hi, beloved. In the Lord, my name is Emily. I want to say thank you so much for tuning into yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protect the beloved. They are, they are abandoning the fight, okay? The Lord took center stage. The Lord took center stage. Mm. They thought that they could fight and fight and fight and fight like just fight. They told themselves that they're not going to allow anything. They're not going to surrender for any reason. And they were fighting you, fighting and like. But now that the Lord has had to take center stage of this fight, they are beginning to see that there is no hope. <laughs> They are beginning to see that there is no hope. There is no hope. Okay? There is just no hope. And they just feel like, they just feel weak. They just feel like sad, so down, like things, like they just don't know exactly how to fight because their tactics have been like, been discovered. Their armors have been, dis they have been disarmed, beloved. They have been disarmed from their powers and everything. And power has changed, and beloved. The table has turned against them right now. Hmm? Don't you don't you feel it, beloved? They 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 like they are literally abandoning the fight, and you can see for yourself that atmosphere. How do you feel the atmosphere, beloved? If you're still feeling as though you are still fighting, think again because the Lord has already taken of the center stage, and now handling everything. All right, He shall fight for you and He shall hold your peace. Hallelujah. You 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 like you were just you just surrendered like what anything that was happened let it happen because you know that vengeance vengeance is of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he's affirming that yes indeed he shall fight for you and he shall hold your peace. According to Exodus fourteen verse fourteen, for the Lord shall fight for you and he shall hold your peace. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Exodus fourteen verse fourteen. And the Lord will fight for you and you keep your silence. Like the Lord shall fight for you, but you will not do anything, you will not react on it, all right? You like but you've not yet you've not reacted. You're just been praying and praying, like Lord, take control, take control, because we know that we rest not against flesh and blood. But again, against principles and powers, so wickedness in high places. How can you even go to wrestle with these people? Like, just pray your prayer and allow the Lord. And Lord is the moment that He has really fought for you. Hallelujah. They are taking a center stage, and now they are surrendering. Whether they like it or not, they are surrendering. They are surrendering. That's what the Lord said. They are surrendering. Do you believe? If you believe, peace is coming to your life. Because the Lord said, you shall fight for you, you shall hold your peace. Peace is coming. You can now relax and have a sound sleep at night. Have a good time, good, good, you know, you know, good atmosphere around you. God bless you. See you in the next. Faith is our vehicle of its strength.